Come gather round, Miss Martha's got a story. Can't wait to hear where it all might take us this time. Everyone knows that treasure lies inside these pages. We wanna be hanging out with story. Everybody wants to be there when Miss Martha reads. Support comes from Norfolk Collegiate, providing a foundation for students pre-K to fifth grade, where innovative, student-driven farm-to-table initiatives, engaging experiences, and daily in-person instruction are just the beginning. More at norfolkcollegiate.org. Hello, friends. Welcome to Miss Martha Reed's Storytime. I'm Miss Martha, and I want to thank you so much for joining me as I share another great story. Now, have you ever needed something but really didn't know how to ask for it? And when you did try, people just pushed you away. It can really make you sad. Well, in today's story, we will hear all about a puppy with that very problem. And the title of today's story is Woody's Great Idea. It was written by a second grader named Elisa from Saunders Elementary School in Newport News, Virginia. Let's put on our good listening ears. Click, click, so that we can find out what happens in this story. In a small city called Owlsville, there is a enormous tree in the middle of the city. The tree is home to many animals. In the middle of the tree, there is a talking parakeet named Squacky and a flying squirrel named Nutty. Nutty lived just two tree limbs away and at the bottom of the tree, there is a hole covered with twigs and inside lives a rabbit with big white feet named Hoppy who can hop really high. At the very top of the tree lived Hooty, Hooty the Owl. Hooty had special abilities and all the animals looked up to him. The animal said, that he is the smartest of all the animals. One night, when everyone was asleep, a dog came to the tree and it wouldn't stop barking. It barked all night long and into the morning. So, all the animals had a meeting. They came up with ideas of how to stop the dog from barking. That, that night, when the dog came to the tree and started barking, Hoppy hopped and he hopped and he hopped. The dog followed him. But then he went back to the tree and barked even louder. Hmm. 
The next night, it was Nutty's turn. He jumped in the air and started throwing nuts at the dog. The dog ran away, but he came back barking. Squacky decided to take a turn. and He pretended to be a man. And he said, dog, go home. So the dog ran off, but he came right back barking. Hooty the owl heard them talking. He said to them, I can stop the dog from barking if you would do me a favor. You see, the corner store sells my favorite food. And if you promise to get it for me, I will stop the dog from barking. They all said, yes. That night, when the dog started barking, Hooty flew down and with a loud voice, he yelled, What hoot! What hoot! What hoot! What hoot! What hoot! The dog was so afraid that he ran away. He was so afraid and said he lost his barking voice. The, all the other animals in the tree cheered and they were so happy. Then they asked Hootie, what is your favorite food? And Hootie replied, pizza. The end. Oh, wow. That was a very creative and interesting story. Now, friends, I just wonder, why did that dog bark so much? Do you know why? Well, let's see if my friend Brownie can help us answer that question. Hi, Brownie! Can you say hi to my friends out there? Ah, ah. Well, Brownie, we have a question. We want to know why the dog in this story barks so much. Can you help us answer that question? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I see. So you're saying that the dog just wanted friends and he just wanted to play? Oh my goodness. Well, what could we have done to know this? Or what could they have done better? So you mean to tell me that all they had to do was talk to him? Wow. That is interesting. Thank you so much, Brownie. That was great advice. So let's say goodbye to our friends out there. You have been helpful. <laughs> all right. Wow. Wow. That was really nice of Brownie to help us answer these questions. So that's a great lesson. 
if someone does something that we don't like, we should talk to them. And we can resolve. Sometimes talking can help us to resolve those issues. So that is great advice. Well, friends, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. That's all I have for you. But before I go, you know, I always have to remind you to practice, practice, practice your reading every single day to exercise your brain. Because I want